Pruning assists in shaping a tree by promoting growth in areas that are needed, which can create a more aesthetically pleasing plant. It also helps in preventing the spread of diseases by removing branches that have viruses and bacterial infections as well as fungal infections. To prune a tree, you can use a range of tools, including secateurs, handsaw, folding pruner, loppers, and safety equipment. For large trees or trees close to the power lines, it's advisable to talk to an expert before pruning. The first tool I'm going to be using is secateurs. These are mainly used to trim small branches off the tree. Secateurs are like spring-loaded scissors. They often contain a lock, which is a safety mechanism, so that when you're not using them, you close it and lock and you can't stab yourself. The first branches we're going to take off are these small ones down the base. This is a handsaw and it's used to remove slightly larger branches. It's ideal to have an incredibly sharp blade, but for this reason you have to be really careful when using a saw. These protruding branches pose a potential hazard, so we're going to remove them, making sure not to cut the main stem. If done correctly, the cut should be slightly off the tree, so that the branch protrudes slightly. After a few months, and the, uh, when the cut starts to heal, you'll notice a donut type ring start to form around it. As this branch is already dead, you can already see the beginning of the uh, donut forming. For hard to reach branches, you can use a pole pruner. For thicker branches, which the pruners can't cut through, there are often other attachments, such as a saw, which you can still get up to the high branches with. These are loppers. They're like giant secateurs. They allow more leverage, so you can cut bigger branches. These tools made light work of those thin branches but when it comes to bigger, thicker branches, we often need to do an undercut. This is mainly used for branches that are so weighty that if you cut from the top straight down, it will get about two thirds of the way through and snap, ripping off quite a bit of bark and exposing the tree to diseases. An example of a branch that you would use an undercut on would be one like this. You would cut it underneath in line with the trunk from about here to a third of the way in, and then you would remove the saw and continue to cut down to the mark. And that's how you prune trees.